Okay, so here's a look that I'm um, doing today. It's a really nice little um, holiday look. Mostly neutral colors all over the face. And I really like it. It's really easy. So yeah, um, if you're interested in knowing how to do this look, just stay tuned. And yeah, I'll get to it. Hey everybody, so... Um, I went ahead and I did my foundation and I've completely fallen in love with a new foundation and it's Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, I'm going to be doing a review and then I went ahead and started with this mineral powder by them as well. I love it. Completely flawless. So I'm going to be doing a review or probably a tutorial on that so I'm not going to get into that. And excuse what I'm wearing. I just have to wear t-shirts for my makeup because I'm messy sometimes so... I went ahead and did that and contoured. So I'm just going to put my hair back. Okay. And I also went ahead and applied in NYX, NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. So it's just a creamy eye base. Okay, so first I'm taking my MAC body powder and I'm in the shade medium and I'm just placing this over my eyelids very lightly just to have a nice even surface to work with. Next I'm taking my MAC 249 brush and just patting the color Mystery which is a really nice pretty gold color. I'm starting on my lower lid and going all the way up to my crease but I'm just focusing it on the center of my lid not bringing it too far in or too far out because later in the process well yeah. <laughs> So just pat that color on. Don't blend it yet. Next I'm just mixing the color Mystery by MAC which is a silverish gray color. And I'm just mixing the two colors and I'm just putting it right on top of um, texture. Again keeping it focused on the center of my eye from the lid all the way to the crease. Next I'm just taking a blending brush and blending the colors very lightly. Next I'm taking a color by Estee Lauder, um, it's called Black Moon and it's just a white frosty shadow and I'm just using it as a highlight since my skin is really light, it doesn't appear as white, it's more to my skin color, but just take whatever shadow is closest to your color, skin color. Next I just went ahead and blend that and I'm taking a dark brown color I have and it's by Lancome and it's called Lazard. And I'm just focusing on the outer corner of my eye for the most part and lightly blending it into the um, mystery and texture. And then I'm also very lightly just going into my crease to so kind of add a little bit of depth but not too much. And then I just went ahead and blended all that together. And I took the brush I highlighted with to just kind of clean it up. I didn't have any product on it. And I also like to angle the side of my eyeshadow to give it a really defined shape. Next I'm taking a color by Lancome as well. It's just a really pretty um brownie silver color and it's from the four innocence palette and i'm just focusing it on the inner portion of my eye and i'm just blending that into the mystery texture as well and blending those colors and i'm just going to go ahead and kind of deepen the mystery texture texture again because I really don't want to lose the colors because that's what makes your eyeshadow pop. And just blend again and re highlight very lightly. For the lower lid I'm just taking this really pale color by um, Lancome in the Fort, in Fort Innocence palette and just blending Next, I'm taking my 214 brush and taking that dark brown color Lazara by Lancome and just smudging it underneath my um, lower lashes. I'm just going about halfway and then I'm taking my hip gel liner and doing um, not a really thick line, but a pretty, I guess thick line across the top lashes. And next, I am taking the same liner brush, the angled Sonia Cashew liner brush and just lining my lower lashes and keeping it as close to my lashes as possible 
And then I'm just going to take a flat eyeliner brush and line my waterline. Okay, so um, I went ahead and finished my mascara and stuff. So, yeah. There's that. <clears throat> I went ahead and contoured whenever I did my foundation. But now I want to add a tiny bit of um, bronzer. I'm just using Clinique's Sunkissed. I'm going to be using a MAC 150. So I'm just lightly um, applying that bronzer all over my face. It's a really natural looking bronzer, so it's not going to make you look orange if you have fair skin like I do. And for blush, I'm going to be using a Pro Fusion blush, and it's a really hot pink. So, um, use sparingly, and I'm just using the MAC 249 for that, and I'm just concentrating it on my cheeks and blending upward. Excuse me, I'm using a 129, not a 249. And then I'm just taking my Kabuki brush and blending that out. So next I'm just using a um, lip liner by Estee Lauder. And it's just a really dark pink color the name rubbed off. And then I'm just using the other side, which is a light pink. And then I'm going to be applying soft nude on top of that just to line it up a little bit. And I'm using concealer to just clean up the edges. That's a really nice holiday color, in my opinion. So here's the finished look. I really like it. Though. It's pretty subtle, I think. And it's perfect for the holiday stay or not. Um, so here's the colors again. And the lips. A nice nudish pink. And... So I hope you like it, and I hope you have a good holiday. And if you have any requests for any other type of video, just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.